Jared Poland, Fronosphoto.com, and this is your Photo News Fix. This fix is brought to you by Rode in the 2018 My Road Reel competition that's now in its fifth year. Now there's only a few more weeks to get your entries in as the competition closes on July 31st. This year there's a million dollars in prizes up for grabs across multiple categories and it's really simple to get entered and you never know, you might just win something. For more information, head on over to bit.ly slash froreel18. First up, do you have a desire to wow your friends with close-up photos of the moon or are you possibly compensating for a small <laughs> if you said yes to both of those things Nikon has a camera for you Steven don't tell anybody but I uh I match both of those things. Wait, wait, is this rolling? Nikon has announced a 125X zoom point and shoot camera, which is a 35 millimeter equivalent zoom range of 24 to 3000 millimeters. Steven, I wonder how many people are gonna tell us that it's not really 3000 millimeters as if we didn't get that already. The P1000 sports a teeny tiny one half point three inch 16 megapixel BSI sensor, which is slightly larger than what you would find in your cell phone, but a fraction of the size compared to full frame. The native ISO tops out at 6400 in this camera, which isn't surprising due to the small sensor size. I hear Nikon works super hard to make sure 6400 doesn't look like Swiss cheese when you're shooting the moon. Instead, it will now look like blue cheese, nice and creamy, probably because of noise reduction. Nikon says this powerful zoom range gives the P1000 the versatility to chronicle an adventure-filled vacation, capture a favorite ball player from the top tier of a stadium, or fill the frame with celestial objects like the moon that normally only a telescope could reach. Honestly, how many photos of the moon can you possibly take? Hey look, it's the moon, it's so moony. I should pull my pants down, Steven, and moon the camera. But I won't. It's the moon. It's not going anywhere. Or is it? On top of everything else, this camera sports an EVF flip-out vari-angle screen, shoots seven frames per second, saves your images in RAW, weighs three pounds, and is massive in the hands, unlike me. Did, did I write that? Or did you put that in there? Oh yeah, and it's priced at just under a thousand bucks. I will reserve final judgment on if this camera sucks or not until I get my small hands on it and run it through its paces. And by paces, I mean shoot a million photos of the moon. To see who won the pro grade memory card from the contest in the last fix, just look in the description below. Next up, is this photographer a hero? I can be your hero, baby. Have you ever shot a wedding that ended in you breaking the groom's nose? I can kiss away the pain. Oh, yeah. Well, that's what ended up happening to Turkish photographer Anur Albarak. The story, which was reported by Hurriyet Daily News, states that Albarak was hired for a July 5th wedding at a park in eastern Turkish province of Malatya. On the day of the wedding, he noticed that the bride did not look like an adult. When he asked the groom her age, he soon learned she was only 15 years old. Anur says, I saw the bride for the first time at the wedding. She's a child and I felt her fear because she was trembling. At that point, he refused to continue to photograph the wedding and even attempted to stop the wedding. This is where things got physical. After he refused to shoot the wedding, the groom told him he was bound by their contract and must finish shooting the wedding. When Albarak attempted to leave, the groom attacked him and that's when a fight broke out, leaving the groom with a broken nose. For those wondering, the legal age of marriage is 18 in Turkey and child marriage is punishable by imprisonment. Is he a hero for doing this? Yes. But one thing that wasn't made clear is if the girl was still forced to marry on that day. And finally, is this a tactless move by a photographer? Jeff Mermelstein, who for decades has made a name for himself as a street photographer in New York City, has stirred up a debate with his latest photo series. He's been posting tightly cropped photos of people's private text conversations on their phones and sharing it with the world. Now moving forward with this story, I've instructed Steven to blur out the conversations because I don't want to personally share them. Before this story, I didn't know of Jeff Mermelstein. I did a quick search on YouTube and found a video posted over 10 years ago where he describes the type of photographer he is. I'm a voyeur. I'm not asking people if I can take their picture, even if they're on a public stage. I'm in a sense 
stealing something from them without asking them. So I found that to be pretty painful to watch, the way that he stalked his prey and stole their images in such a maniacal, premeditated way. Now before anyone calls me a hypocrite because I've stolen people's images on the street, I think there's a certain tact that needs to be had. There's definitely an ethical line when it comes to street photography, and that line's different for each photographer. Where I draw the line in this case is knowingly going out with the idea that you want to capture people's private and sometimes intimate conversations and share them with the world. Sure, their identity is unknown, but those conversations were not meant for Jeff's eyes or anyone else other than who it's originally intended for. Is it any different than going out in the hopes of getting a couple of upskirt photos and sharing those, there may not be many rules in street photography, but I think what he's doing is tactless. Now that's what I have to say about it. I'd be curious to hear your thoughts, so leave some comments down below. Also, if you want to read another photographer's take on the matter, there's a link in the description that will take you over to the article on Petapixel. And there you have it. That's your photo news fix this time around. To check out the last photo news fix from a couple of weeks ago, go ahead and click on the screen right here. And thank you very much for watching. Jared Poland from Photo.com. See ya.